best vaccine is going to be the vaccine that you're offered. The thing that people seem to get mixed up on is this efficacy number. It's natural for people to assume that a vaccine that is 95% effective is better than one that is, say, 66% efficacy. But in fact, you can't compare them. These numbers were derived under different circumstances. The Pfizer Moderna vaccines, for example, were tested when we had the original variant. And it was also done at a time when the number of people infecting the population was not as high. Whereas with the J&J uh, and, &J and the AstraZeneca vaccines, those were tested in other geographical locations, including South Africa, where there are new variants emerging, when there was a higher prevalence of the virus in the population. And so that's a higher bar for a vaccine to be able to protect against. In order to compare those vaccines, you would actually have to test those vaccines at the same time, enroll the same sort of people, and, uh, and in the same geographical locations. Vaccines are really meant to protect, are really designed to protect you from disease. Once you get vaccinated, even if you become uh, exposed and infected with the virus, most people won't even know it because they won't even develop any signs of disease. Or if they do, it really is just a mild uh, case. All of these vaccines are reporting essentially 100% protection from severe disease and hospitalization. That's phenomenal. This, is, this is, exceeds the bar of where we thought we would be at this point. It's kind of like running shoes. If you put this running shoe on or that one, they'll all let you run a mile. Whatever vaccine you're offered is going to provide you with significant uh, protection from what you care about most.